This is a, actually a very well conducted uh, global trial uh, with the hypothesis uh, to evaluate whether ribulin was actually going to be better than capecitabine for patients with uh, refractory metastatic breast cancer. But they did more than that. They actually enrolled patients who were eligible to receive chemotherapy in the first, second, or third line setting for metastatic disease. The results demonstrated that uh, ribulin was not better to capecitabine, uh, but it actually, on the other hand, demonstrated that the two drugs appeared to be fairly similar in terms of efficacy, where efficacy was defined as progression-free and overall survival. Uh, you know, there was uh, a little bit of a trend, actually, for improvement of uh, eribulin over capecitabine, but it did not meet statistical significance. There was another interesting aspect of this study in that investigators conducted subset exploratory analysis, and there were two subgroups of patients who appeared to potentially benefit more from a ribulin compared to capecitabine. And there were patients with triple negative breast cancer as well as patients with overall HER2 negative breast cancer. So as I think of uh, potential ways to learn from uh, this study, as well as uh, you know, the take-home messages, I, th I think uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, physicians can now be convinced that uh, there are alternatives for patient management, either capecitabine or eribulin. Eribulin or capecitabine can be used as first, second, or third line setting, although, of course, for prescription patterns, we should follow the FDA guidelines uh, for approval. Uh, but in addition to that, I, I think uh, the, the, the results provide uh, ideas for further studies, such as uh, to evaluate a ribulin in patients with HER2-negative or triple-negative breast cancer.